Hey everyone, welcome to Hegan Eruthil. We have here a dev blog um, launch. This was uh, announced yesterday. These are partial um, improvements or middle improvements before I think they go global on April 6th. So let's go through the key part of the optimizations, um, the, other, the rest of the blog as well. And I'll give you guys my feedback for the game after playing three weeks approximately and free to play by the way so um this will give you a more in-depth idea on how the game is progressing what developments are to look forward to if you haven't played the game this will give you more reason to play it and uh let's start off so part one key optimizations this one is a nice to have so character level and skill reset feature this will be available to new players so accounts created within two weeks. So this does not apply to us anymore because we're beyond two weeks. So this will you'll be able to recycle your materials, whatever you use to, to those um, heroes that you haven't, you know, you haven't, you're not anymore using. They're just, you know, uh, gathering dust. So you can reset them and transfer those uh, materials to other heroes. So pre previewable info of, of un unobtainable characters so far. This is actually going to be nice because, especially for me as a content creator, I get to give you guys my my thoughts ahead before you have these characters available. And also for you to plan whether who you're going to concentrate on in your build. So this is nice. Core combat experience optimized. So far, my combat experience has been nice. It hasn't been hard. It hasn't been too easy as well. So it's just right that you can progress as far. Again, even with free to play, the stages the the stages are not that hard. Really, really, um, very acceptable um, difficulty. Whenever you progress to a different stage, easy to upgrade your characters. Again, if they're going to optimize it more, I hope it it makes the the combat experience even better not worse so that is actually my comment optimize rules for play wish so this one the play wish the gotcha system i like the gotcha system i'll explain it later during my feedback but this one the the up for the five star play will be increased by five to 50 to 80 percent so again the gotcha system it's it's better than what i expected so more on that in a while optimize it here uh, regeneration offline mode this pertains to your energy so they will give also emphasis on offline mode regeneration of it here that's what this says and optimize output of essential materials <laughs> I, I agree with this so much because farming in this game is takes a lot of time because the 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 output of essential materials is so little so you have to spend a lot of energy just to farm and, and upgrade and everything so progress is a bit slow now but it might improve with this one with the, the the drop rates increasing okay so that is the dev notes which i'm happy about next up is going to be i'm not gonna i'm not gonna touch on this um this is a top up rebate just read it through their facebook page i haven't topped up because i'm free to play but again, for those who have topped up, there are key questions here that you need to know when global launch comes out. And um, the future of Vanguard server. So for those who are in Vanguard, which is the soft launch, um, do I have to update the game when open beta goes live? Can you players enter Vanguard? So there will be a special maintenance on April 4th. So we'll be going ahead. So... Um, Decorative stores, uh, uh, Vanguard server will probably close on Fort Minton until 12th. So I think um, new players cannot enter Vanguard, I presume. Special, which play, directed stores. Once, uh, sorry, and downloading the open beta to resume the journey on Vanguard. So this is the old players. Servers other than Vanguard will remain in maintenance until. Open beta goes live for stability concerns. Um, I think it's going to be a different server for the new ones, which is better, I think. But the events will be parallel. Um, that 
I'm I think I am sure. So what's next? So these are the events next. So after the Burning Phoenix event, by the way, the Burning Phoenix event was actually nice. Um, more materials to farm there. And uh, hopefully you guys were able to finish that. Does the plan for Van Vanguard server stay the same with the other servers? So this content and event in the Vanguard server will stay the same with that in the new open beta servers. You may experience the same content and event when the open beta goes live. As I've said, there's, it's going to be parallel. Some events that are related to the account will not be open again. Okay, so probably the ones that already went out for the soft launch will not be out already, will not be out again. So that is, I think, what they're saying. So, so again, there are a lot of information here. Just check out their Twitter, Discord, and Reddit for more information on the upcoming optimizations for the game. And we're off to we're off to Higan Eruthil for this one. So if you guys notice, I have Rita already. I got Rita. Um, I'm gonna do a review on Rita for those who are planning to get her in the new wish banner here so it's ghost fire we have a new wish banner and we have a new play banner uh sorry hero banner and a play banner so rita i already got i'll do a review whether you know you you can actually i'm still testing her so give me a day to give my review um hold on to your pulls if you want to hold on to them but i'll give a review on her if um, I actually have her built well already, so I have her at level 60 and skill wise at four, all four. So, more or less, I could give you a detailed review after today. I just got her to 60. So, give, give me some time, please, uh, to give you guys my review on her. Um, also, a build guide probably. Uh, will be out uh, once uh, once uh, I've done my review. So again, that's not my second half. So again, just want to give you guys feedback on the game as a whole, how it's been for me, um, an experience uh, being free to play and everything. So again, it's seriously free to play. I tell you guys, progress is is manageable for free to play we will definitely be slower than um paying players but it's really free to play i tell you um not kidding even the gotcha rates even the gotcha system is actually very free to play friendly i'll more on that in a while so again progress is good i actually collected these already even if i'm free to play no joke no joke i tell you so for the gotcha mechanic we'll go to the roster so this is my roster I pulled for most of the banner. Um, some of these are off banner because uh, the off banner rates are good. So let's go to the wish system. So the wish system, let's go to this one. So pity redeem. So for you'll be getting pity after the 120th pull. If you get SSRs in the middle, even if if it's um if it's off banner. The thing doesn't reset. The pity doesn't reset. So that's what is nice about it. And the rates are not bad. So, so 2% for drop rate. The rates are not bad. So 2%, some gotchas are less. So this one is a 50% trigger. Um, and this one is a 2% to trigger an SSR. Any of the SSRs that are in the pool. So again, before you reach pity, if you get off banner SSRs, the pity doesn't reset. Again, one of the best gotcha mechanics I think that I've you know I've played in so far. Um, that is why I was able to get a lot of heroes already. So I got uh, Fen in the reroll. I got uh, Elu in the banner, Gildan in the banner. I got media in the free ssr rita is actually off banner Liv is off banner and i still have nuno here nuno i i got actually in in her banner so and what is good about the gotcha system is that um the current if if for example there are two banners here ghost in another they share the same pity system so again it's not really that bad it's actually way good so 
if you pull on this banner and if you have another banner a new banner both PT systems um, activate if you pull in either banner so very good as well so again you are in a win-win with this game in terms of the gacha mechanics um, moving towards the stages here the stages guys are not too hard not too easy I tell you very manageable in terms of um, in terms of progress I'm at four um, again very manageable um, just upgrade then fight upgrade and fight again progress is pretty much very very manageable as long as you play daily preferably multiple times in a day so events the last event was um, the Phoenix event that was very free to play this one is also a free to play event so I have received a reward here so just uh, it's gonna be fusing materials then you get a reward so this is I think once per day then this is running for 13 days so again very simple event and very very nice especially for everyone including free to play this one um, cheapest package I won't be buying because I have fan already this one for progress again the events of this game is magnifico I tell you um, tasks also is very manageable very easy easy tasks is related to time because some of us are busy we only play this partially in a day so dailies are very easy to attain you can finish it first thing um, in the morning then you play again in the afternoon probably at night so two times every day very time friendly game doesn't really take much of your time um, I can squeeze this game in my daily routine battle system um, very very enjoyable I won't go into the battle system to demo anything but the battle system here is um, let's uh, let's go to Outland let's uh, demo just one okay so let's uh, no no not this one not this one okay so let's uh, go to deep maze I've cleared this one, but uh, we'll go through it just to show you guys. So let's uh, enter. Okay, battle system, very enjoyable. Um, for manual, it is, again, the word is manageable. Because, again, uh, most of us don't really like to go into manual mode. But I'll do this fight. Um... You can do manual very very you know if, if you want more skill or difficulty to the game you can go with uh, manual if you don't want you can go with auto auto um again ai is going to be a little bit you know it has a mind of its own so if you want to cast spell on your own you know or your own pace or your own timing then definitely you have to go with manual so again that is what i'm saying the battle system I really like it's a balance between auto and your manual so just pick whether you're gonna go with auto or manual for a certain battle okay those are basically the the likes that I have things that they need to um, fix or probably uh, optimize is the shop shop wise um, the the what they call this the items here are a bit more for pay to win so not much for free to play so this one the exchange is usually free to play but not much option so hopefully they could add or lower down something to give you know free to play more options in terms of the shop as for troop so troop here is your kind of your base this is where you accumulate materials where you where you um craft materials or crafting feline room this one the exhibition uh, exhibition the expedition room is going to be where you will be dispatching so this is very very nice to have it adds to what you have better do this in the morning and that is so far what is included the veiled court is uh, uh actually generates this currency to upgrade your facility and it really for me it lacks features that is probably the downside probably more optimization on the troop but 
as is its actually average. Um, one thing that I'd like to touch is on the energy. The energy, um, it was mentioned in the dev notes already. They're going to be optimizing it uh, more offline regeneration. But again, I hope that they, you know, increase in capacity at this point. So that is what I think they should optimize as well. And leveling up and ascension, if you go to the roster, again, if you go with Gildan here, they're all, it really takes a lot of ascension here. The items here are really hard to farm, but I know they will be addressing this in the optimization in terms of the drop rate. And I hope that it's going to be, it's good now, but it should be better in the future, especially we're nearing global at this point. So again, guys, I'm free to play. Um, and these are so far my, you know, my heroes. I'm happy with it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay for this account. I'm going to continue the free to play give you guys the you know feedback on free to play experience because i've never really had a free to play game that i really really stuck with but so far this one is one that i think is going to be you know to be very very good for more years to come very well designed game i tell you it just needs to to be tinkered with a little bit it's just in the early stages and um I'm not worried about um, about uh, Honkai Star Rail coming in. This game has its niche as well. There will be players who will be playing this probably um, together with Honkai and uh, Higan Ruthil, or probably choose this over Honkai. I get that Honkai has a lot of fans, and I'll be playing it as well. But again, this game will have have its niche, and it's a very well built game and i'm rooting for it to succeed so that is it so thank you very much guys so hopefully you you got something from my feedback and uh, comment down below what you think about the game so far so take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here